In today's lesson, we will talk about accidentals and inharmonic spellings. We have already learned that the seven music alphabets are represented by the white keys on the piano. To describe the notes represented by the black keys, we use symbols like sharps and flats in combination with the seven letter names. When we sharp a note, we raise it by a half step. On a piano, this means playing the next closest note to the right. For example, C sharp is immediately to the right of C. When we flatten a note, we lower it by a half step, meaning we play the next closest note to the left. For example, E flat is immediately to the left of E. Using this rule, every black key can have two names: C sharp and D flat, D sharp and E flat, F sharp and G flat, G sharp and A flat, A sharp and B flat. When two notes sound the same but are written differently, they are called inharmonic equivalents. The term inharmonic doesn't just apply to individual notes; it can also apply to scales, intervals, triads, and chords. Think of inharmonic notes like the different names you might call your dog, whether it's doggy, baby, or peanut. They all refer to the same four-legged friend in the house. Any note can be raised or lowered. Using this logic, we can have C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, and so on, all the way to B sharp. When reaching the white note E, there is no black key after it. Therefore, E sharp falls on the same key as F. Similarly, B sharp is the same as C. These two notes are also called inharmonic equivalents. When we go down and flatten each note, we get a B flat, A flat, G flat, and so forth, all the way to C flat. You'll notice that F flat sounds the same as E, and C flat sounds the same as B. If you have trouble remembering the meaning of sharp and flat, think of sharp as rising and flat as falling. In music, the term accidental describes notes that have been changed temporarily. Symbols like sharps and flats are called accidentals. The accidental applies only to that note within the measure in which it appears. After the measure ends, the accidental is cancelled. Additionally, the accidental applies only to the note in that particular octave, not to the same letter in other octaves. To cancel an accidental within the same measure, a natural sign is used. In addition to sharps and flats, there are also double sharps and double flats. A double sharp looks like an X, and it raises a note by two half steps. For example, a F double sharp sounds the same as a G. A double flat is written as two lowercase b's, and it lowers a note by two half steps. For example, B double flat sounds the same as A. Now try to answer these questions. Are C sharp and D flat inharmonic equivalents? Is B sharp the same as C? When you flat A twice, what note do you get? And here are the answers. Thank you, and see you next time.